Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update, October 29th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 757 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Rising with the Wind confirms its premiere date. Seven Nights Snow officially announces Li Qing and Joseph Cheng as their leads. Many young stars come out for the Wenrong Awards. And Tan Tianzi performs at a video game anniversary celebration. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered one drama for today and the past few days. The Case Solver Season 3 is a Republican-era investigative drama starring Dong Xuan and Jason Gu, with special appearances from Luo Cheng and Zhang Weiyi. It premiered on October 27th. It is the third installment in the Case Solver franchise, in which Dong Xuan plays a famous forensics doctor and Jason Gu plays a chief inspector. According to Aichi, in Season 3, the two attempt to solve seven thriller mysteries that involve the five elements in Chinese philosophy, fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. The drama is slated for 23 episodes and is available on Aichi, no English subs at the moment. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Next up, Rising with the Wind confirmed its premiere date yesterday. Rising with the Wind is a modern drama starring Simon Gong and Elaine Chung. Yesterday, they confirmed, as had been rumored for a while, an October 30th premiere. That's tomorrow. The drama co-stars Betty Wu and Gao Zhiting, with special appearances from Miles Wei and Dong Xuan, among others. The cast look quite the fashionable bunch here, and that's no coincidence as the drama is set in the fashion world. The drama passed review and obtained a distribution license for 40 episodes on December 13th, 2022. Simon Kong last starred in The Legend of Anle with Del Raba. He also stars in the upcoming Fox Spirit matchmaker Ye Hong with Yang Mi. Elaine Zhong stars in the recently premiered modern drama The Furthest Distance, so fans of hers can get a double dose of her soon on different platforms. According to Baidu, Rising with the Wind follows a clothing company heiress, played by Elaine Zhong, who loses her father and faces the possibility of losing her father's company as well. She meets a crude investor, played by Simon Gong, and he comes up with a plan to rescue her. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on IGE. Before we get out of premiere dates, here's a rumored one. Fearless, also known as Hello Life, is an upcoming modern drama starring Reja and Wang Yang. The speculation is that it will air on November 3rd on state TV. It is an IGE drama, so if and when it does stream online, it'll be on IGE. The drama passed review and obtained a distribution license for 40 episodes in June. Reja has been in two dramas this year, Start Here and Life is Full of Chiu Tawan. Wang Yang, on the other hand, has been in five, a mix of lead and supporting roles, including ones in Under the Microscope and All the Way to the Sun. According to Baidu, in Fearless, Reja is a self-taught law student who passes the judicial exam, but suffers a blow when her husband breaks up with her and leaves her a huge debt. I will update if Fearless announces something official. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, Derailment recently released new images. Derailment is a modern drama that deals with parallel universes. It stars Liu Haochun and Ling Yi, and on October 26th, they released some new production stills. While their earlier pictures were individual character posters, these recent ones are of the two stars in the same frame. Derailment passed review and obtained an online record number on September 4th. Since then, they've shared an array of promo materials including posters, images from photo shoots, and behind-the-scenes video clips. Still no rumored or tentative premiere dates that I've heard about though. This is Liu Haochun's first ever drama. The 23-year-old has starred in a handful of movies though, one of the recent ones being the Jackie Chan action comedy Ride On. Ling Yi, on the other hand, has been in a bunch of dramas since debuting in 2019, his latest being last year's Our Times. Derailment is an adaptation of a priest novel and follows Liu Haochun's character, a wealthy chairman's daughter who gets into an accident. 
When she wakes up, she discovers that she's traveled through time and space and is now broke and homeless. She meets Ling Yi's character, a mysterious fellow, as they try to unravel the mystery surrounding her situation. Derailment is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Yuku. Their English sub trailer is available on YouTube. A brand new drama announcement now, Seven Nights Snow. Tieshe, literally translated as Seven Nights Snow, shared this post on October 25th to announce Li Qing and Joseph Cheng as their leads. Directing is Ren Haitao, who also directed Mysterious Lotus Casebook. The caption here is a piece of dialogue from the two main characters. Huo Chanbai asks, Xue Ziye, it's snowing tonight, can we have a drink? Li Qing is Xue Ziye and Joseph is Huo Chanbai in this costume drama that's based on a novel of the same name. Both stars are no strangers to ancient garb. Li Qing has done a slew of costume dramas and movies in her career, and has Joy of Life Season 2 coming up. Joseph Cheng is just coming off Romance on the Farm. Before that, he had a guest role on My Journey to You, and before that had a starring role in Mysterious Lotus Casebook. According to Baidu, Huo Chanbai is a talented but unruly swordsman, who while seeking medicine for his friend's son, encounters Xue Ziye, master of the Medicine Valley. Over the course of several years, the two fall in love and face many challenges in the martial world together. Seven Night Snow is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Aichi. And that's it for drama updates, moving on celebrity updates and today we begin with the Wenrong Awards. The 9th Wenrong Awards were held a couple of days ago at Heng Tian Studios. It was an affair studded with young stars, and expectedly so, as it's an awards ceremony to recognize excellence in youth. On the night, the Blood of Youth screenwriter and Three Bodies director took home awards in their respective categories. Dylan Wang won Best Youth Actor for his performance in the drama series Love Between Fairy and Devil. Here he is doing a photo op and speaking to reporters. Zhang Jianning won Best Youth Actress for her performance in the drama series Ode to Joy Season 4. Here she is with her award and saying a few words to the media. Here she is making her way down the red carpet. Zhang Tianai won Best Youth Actress for her performance in the movie My Country, My Parents. Here she is strutting her stuff on the red carpet. There were also a few group categories. Here is one called the 10 Best Youth Actors. Bi Wenjun, Ren Hao, Jiang Long, Gao Zhiting, Wang Xinyue, Chen Doling, Xuan Lu, Ban Bijou, Hu Lianxing, and Wu Jiayi. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Tan Jianci recently performed at a video game anniversary celebration. It was for Honor of Kings, which is a popular game published by Tencent. Yesterday, the 33-year-old actor-singer took the stage in this white flowing costume and sang a song. He also did a dance come martial arts performance which fans really enjoyed. And he and fellow actor Shen Teng also sat down to a game which was projected on the screens for everyone to see. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Alright, on that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 195, October 29th, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Parallel World The modern drama stars Nini and Bai Yu. Number 9. The Inextricable Destiny The costume drama stars Irene Song and Wang Yingshuo. Number 8, Bright Eyes in the Dark, the modern drama stars Johnny Huang and Zhang Jingyi. 
Number 7, Man in the Mist, the modern drama stars Fu Daolong and Sun Qian. Number 6, Blooming Days, the costume drama stars Peter Ho and Viva Ho. Number 5, Tiger and Crane, the costume drama stars Jiang Long and Zhang Lingha. Number 4, Hilarious Family, the costume drama stars Liu Ling and Jackie Lee. Number 3, Ripe Town, the costume drama stars Bai Yufan and Ning Li. Number 2, Scent of Time, the costume drama stars Zhou Ye and Wang Xingyue. And number 1, Romance on the Farm, the costume drama stars Joseph Cheng and Tian Xiwei. Romance on the Farm is champion for a second week running. It garnered 587 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, A Long Way Home, the modern drama stars Zhang Wanyi and Guo Tao. Number 9, Living in the Green Mountains, the modern drama stars Li Jian and Zhu Rui. Number 8, Sunshine by My Side, the modern drama stars Xiao Zhan and Bai Bai He. Number 7, Against the Light, the modern drama stars Zhang Hanyu and Lyric Lan. Number 6, Stay Young, Stay Passion, the Republican era drama stars Yang Shuo, Zhang Han, and Guo Xiaoting. Number 5, Alliance, the modern drama stars Zhang Xiaofei and Huang Xiaoming. Number 4, My Precious, the modern drama stars Wang Zitao and Rain Wang. Number 3, Never Too Late, the modern drama stars Ava Wang and Deng Jie. Number 2, Mr. and Mrs. Chen, the Republican era drama stars Quan Xiaotong and Elvis Han. And number 1, The Heart, the modern drama stars Mark Chow, Rachel Mao, and Jing Sijia. The Heart ends the week with 554 points, making it champion for a third week running. And there it is, guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead, and I will see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.